So I never actually thought that I was going to make this video, but Skull and Bones is officially coming out in February next year. And while most people, myself included, thought that the game after all was not being released, Ubisoft released a trailer a couple of days ago that introduced us into the game and showed us a little bit about it. And the trailer definitely showed some interesting facts and also some flaws that I'm going to discuss in this video. So firstly, this trailer obviously reads that it is not the final look of the game, which in my opinion is a very good sign because the trailer looks actually amazing. And if that is not the final look, that means that it could look even better. Uh, it's Ubisoft, so it could also look way worse, which we obviously do not hope. But at first glance, we have to say that Skull and Bones in the gameplay trailer really look quite fascinating and got me very hooked immediately. So in the game we will be able to play different modes. There will be a multiplayer, a solo and a player versus player mode. And while the game told us a little bit about the story of the game, I think we will get one of those typical Ubisoft Zero to Hero stories. You know, from nothing to everything, from rags to riches, which is obviously fine for me, because you'll be trying to progress and get better and better, starting with almost nothing. The problem is that the reward system of the game has to be very fleshed out and very good because Skull and Bones won't be a full-blown RPG with a story, with side quests, with everything. The game will primarily feature the sea battles, obviously, and some cutscenes every now and then. So Ubisoft definitely needs to think about how they're going to keep us hooked and motivated to keep progressing in the game. And if I'm being totally honest, guys, sometimes when I was watching the trailer, I was really thinking to myself, this could have been a full-blown RPG, because especially those cutscenes that you see on your screen right now look very promising and I was really thinking to myself, are they not wasting potential and a proper open-world RPG game? Because the pirate era is definitely not one where a lot of games play. And obviously it was firstly planned that this game was going to be a DLC for Assassin's Creed Black Flag, which in my opinion is a very good sign. I'm really concerned though by the fact that we'll be only getting ship battles and I hope that it's going to be enough to keep us hooked and that we won't get bored after a couple of hours because that's definitely the worst thing that could happen to a game like that. Because for me, as I said, if I was Ubisoft, I would have definitely included at least a little bit of an open world and some locations and RPG elements. And guys, one of my latest videos that I made on the channel was talking about a remake of Assassin's Creed Black Flag. And now, a couple of days later, we get this trailer and the confirmation that Skull and Bones is actually coming out. And to be honest, it really looks like a remake of Assassin's Creed Black Flag. As I said, this should have been a DLC for the game. It's been over 10 years since Black Flag came out. So I'm thinking that we also might get some Easter eggs with, you know, some Assassin's Creed crossovers. So that suddenly we're meeting a Kenway or a ship called the Jackdaw out of nowhere. And when I'm saying that this game looks like Assassin's Creed Black Flag, I think no one will take this badly because Assassin's Creed Black Flag is one of the best Assassin's Creed games and one of the most beloved ones in the franchise. And that got me also more and more confident that Ubisoft might actually pull this one off because they already know the pirate era, they've got some experience because they created Black Flag, so there is not much you can do wrong, right? I mean, I'm hoping that I'm not jinxing it now, but I'm really quite confident, way more confident than I was on Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. Now, would I recommend a pre-order? Not at the moment, definitely not, because this game costs $60 to pre-order, so it's definitely not cheap. And with the game being seven times delayed now, like think about that, seven times delayed. I mean, I'm always very positive when developers delay their games, because it just means that they weren't ready, or otherwise we get a game like the day before, which is an absolute catastrophe like we saw a couple of days ago. But seven times is really impressive, in my opinion. And while the trailer looks good, you know, the ships look nice, and also the fight scenes look very promising, keep in mind this is Ubisoft, okay? So I would definitely wait for more information and more gameplay, and obviously the best way is to always wait for the release and see how other reviewers like the game and if it's something that you would personally like. So while I would definitely not recommend to pre-order the game just now, I'm very confident that this game might actually be something. You know, there are some tricky aspects that Ubisoft need to master, like the reward system or us not becoming bored quickly, but I'm very hopeful that this game will actually be something. I'll obviously be reviewing this game on my channel, so feel free to subscribe if you also like open world games like Skull and Bones. Alright guys, that was it for me in today's video. I hope you all have an amazing day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.